Okay, today we're gonna be analyzing one of my viral video scripts. The video is currently sitting at 1.4 million views and counting, just me and my phone holding it in my hand, talking to the camera. So it's very easy to make this style of content for anybody who has a phone and social media. And it all comes down to what you're saying, how you're saying it and using psychology to tap into that viewer belief mindset and continue to slow drip them information to keep them watching your entire video. This video is an evergreen video. It just did 300,000 more views over the weekend. It's continuing to grow and grow even two months after I posted it. So when you create content that resonates to a large audience, that top of funnel content, Content and you have the right script, you know, it'll continue to churn views for you. And then you can nurture that audience with those high value posts, which we talk about all the time on this channel, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, but let's dive into the script line by line and dissect why did this work? And why did it get so many views? And why was the comment section so popping on this video, right? So diving in, we've got the script right here, we're just going to go line by line and really dissect every element of this video, starting with the hook. Have you ever wondered why like 93% of the people who actually win the voice or American Idol don't make it as huge pop stars after? So immediately we're posing a question that's directed exactly at the viewer with this style of content. When you've got your phone and you're on this like FaceTime kind of call with the viewer, it can't be about you. It's got to be about them. It's got to feel like you just picked up the phone because you called them. They answered, you picked it up and you asked them one to one a question. Have you ever wondered the word you always has to appear? if not in the first line of your video, if you're talking and you're doing educational content or even really entertainment content, anything where you're talking to the camera and you want that viewer to relate to the video or want to learn from what you're speaking about in the video, especially with your music content, it can't be all I, 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 it's gotta be boom, directed at the viewer. Have you ever wondered? And then right after that, we follow it up with a number. So here we're talking 93%. When you give people finite numbers, just like commercials, four out of five dentists recommend this toothpaste or one out of every 10 people get into Harvard or, you know, whatever you want that number to be, depending on what your video is about. When you can serve people statistics that boom, it gives them exactly the answer that they're looking for. Or in this case, we're opening up a question, opening up a loop with a number that's just going to pique interest a lot more than like using emotional terms. So always use numbers as much as possible. And then as we go into this, we're just going to further their belief. So even if they were on the for you page and they had no idea that this video was going to pop up, this is a broad enough topic to where you've got to think back to what are some viewer beliefs that are going to resonate across like 99% of the people who, who watch the video, right? So we've opened up the question of have you ever wondered why all these people that win these shows don't become huge pop stars after and then we're going to follow it up with furthering the beliefs that we feel the viewer has. So in this case, I'm like, okay, what do most people think? After they've heard that, after that question has been posed to them about why these people don't become huge pop stars after they win this show, what are those beliefs that they're going to have? So here I'm just furthering those beliefs. Obviously to win those shows, you got to be a great singer, great performer, be charismatic, have stage presence, literally all the attributes of a superstar they already have. So those are the beliefs that I felt the viewer probably has. So let's just get them on our side. Let's make them feel like we're in agreement with the topic of the video by furthering those beliefs for them. And then we're going to open up that question. That's going to keep that engagement with this next line. But, and but is a very, very, very strong word when it comes to content, when you hit them with, when you further their belief and then, but now that peaks interest because they went from, wow, this content creators on my side, we have the same beliefs, but and then that butt opens it up to, but they know something that I don't know. So I'm going to continue to watch the video to see what that is. So I give them the reason they so work, rarely work out is because of the contract they have to sign before they even audition for the show. So now I've just piqued interest even more because we've opened up this whole new loop, right? We've opened up the whole new loop of the reason why is because of the contract, but we're going to build upon what it is in that contract that doesn't give the result that the viewer clearly establishes their belief. And we're going to slow drip that information over the next couple lines, peaking interest, giving a little bit of the answer, pulling back and then, you know, peaking interest even more right here with Everyone who goes on these shows signs this contract and then it kicks into effect for whoever the winner is. And when I tell you this contract is bad, it's bad. So that's where we're boom, we're doubling down and we're giving the viewer that reason to continue watching because now we've given them a sliver of the information as to why, you know, the answer to that first question we pose, why do the winners don't make it big after 
okay, we've given them the reason why is the contract. So they're, we're giving them a piece of that information, but now we're going to tell them it's really bad and they're going to have to continue watching to see, well, why is it so bad? And we're just going to, again, further our belief that the viewer now feels that they're on board with, which is like up there is the worst possible deal structure someone in music could possibly sign bad. So we're really building this big belief around, okay, this contract is terrible. It, it is terrible. Okay, why is it so bad? They're still watching because that interest is continuing to be peaked. First of all, it'll typically tie that artist to the label arm of the show for an absurd amount of time. So see how every time we give an answer, we open it up to another line that's going to support that answer without giving it all away. So I could have said in this, first of all, we'll typically tie that artist to the label arm of the show for a four to five album commitment. But when we break it up into two lines and we continue to peak interest makes the video longer, but it continues that retention and that watch time to then show the algorithm. This is an interesting video and we'll get into other reasons why the video did well outside of the retention because the watch time on this was insane it was like it was like a 63 second video with a 40 second average watch time and like 38 percent of the people watched the whole video which is like insane numbers on the engagement side to to get a push in the algorithm and now here we go we're going to open up another with the butt right but since these shows and the label want to capitalize on the popularity of this artist as quickly as possible, once the winner is announced, they'll rush the first album out in a couple months, which is insane when you think about how quick that is for a whole album to be written, recorded, and produced. So now we're just continuing again to further those beliefs and give them pieces of the answer without giving the whole answer. And then this next line, we're literally going to open up a whole other conversation that's going to get that viewer to start thinking for themselves in terms of like the label owns the rights to basically everything from this artist and they can't make any career decisions without this label's approval which typically leaves them in limbo for years and years after they've won so now we've just opened up their mind and beliefs to this is you know this is the final reason why this contract doesn't work for these artists we've given them all the answers and now we have to pivot right because we have to get them to feel like they can voice their opinion on this and that's where we open up the comment section but we do it in a way without begging for comments so this next line is very important which is why the runner ups and people who get eliminated earlier usually end up having way more successful careers after. And that line right there opened up the whole video comment section to a ton of conversation. I got thousands and thousands of comments from people all listing different runner ups and people who got eliminated on these shows that they were thinking of, Oh, Adam Lambert, Morgan Wallen. And they started listing all these people because this line opened up that conversation without begging for it. And then all we do here is kind of further the belief of why those people are successful and not the winners by saying they have the freedom to make their own career decisions on their own terms. Video ends, people are discussing in the comment section. So that is a, you know, dissection and breakdown of this script and really just the principles around scripting your content. And you don't have to script every line, right? You can just script your hook and then have bullet points, but you have to know where you're starting from. You have to know that you have a strong hook and you have to know how to get your video from point A, that hook, to point B that keeps it engaging for that viewer throughout. And the best way to do that is to continue to open up these loops in which once you give them the answer to close the loop, you're immediately opening up another question that can percolate around your, their head while you continue to give and slow drip that information to that answer. Talking content is so, so essential because it builds up that loyalty and that trust between viewer and creator a lot more than just like pointing at text or, you know, lip syncing if you're, you know, you're a music artist. And when you know that you've structured your speaking videos, even like, again, like just the hook and bullet points to continue to follow this pattern where, you know, it ebbs and flows like a movie does, you know that you're going to have that high performance from viewers watching all the way through because you've structured the video to keep them watching instead of just winging it and hoping that these principles are followed. So kind of key takeaways, that hook always has to be at the viewer, right? Use that word you in the, if not in the first line, in the first two lines, two clips of your video, you've got to address the viewer, you, this is why, have you ever, if you've ever, if you can address that viewer in the first two lines, they're going to feel like they're being spoken to. And the fact that it's that FaceTime content is just going to further that trust. And then using the word, but 
every once in a while to where you give people a piece of an answer to a question you opened up in a previous line, you give them a piece of that answer, and then that next line is but, and then you give more information that you know that they don't know, because if they knew that already, they wouldn't be continuing to watch the video. They're watching the whole video at this point because they feel that you have the answers to these questions that you opened up in their mind in the beginning of the video, but, that next piece that you give them is something you know that they don't know and they're watching to get that piece of information. So yeah, that's a that's a breakdown of this video. You know, I have a ton of videos that have done hundreds of thousands, millions of views we can look into and break down in future videos. If this was a helpful video style, a little, little something different here, let me know in the comments. I know I said don't beg for comments, but the different vi video style here. Let me know in the comments if you like this breakdown, any other questions, and I'll see you Wednesday. Peace.